Hi everyone, I'm Yash, the guy behind OCCT. I know it's been a while, but I've been working on V11 like crazy. I'm hella late, I'm sorry about it, but we're getting close to the stable release. Um, I'm going to show you the new 3D test, and boy is it revolutionary. I mean, it's going to change the way we test GPUs forever. You can ditch Unigine, you can ditch 3D Mark, you will see it's amazing. I wanted to show you uh, on my uh, RTX 380, uh, there's a change of scenery, this is where I usually develop OCCT. So, uh, without further ado, um, let's look at this new thing. All right, so the new test is called 3D Adaptive here, and uh, it's got three different modes. Um, the first one is uh, Steady, which is your regular 3D test, where you specify if you want the test to be light, heavy, extreme, or custom, and you specify here how intense the test should be. Um, pretty straightforward. We're not going to spend a lot of time on this mode. The second one is more interesting. Because the main thing about this test is that the intensity can change over time all while doing error checking. So what we're going to do here is start at 10%, go up to 80%, and we're going to increase intensity for 5% every 5 seconds. And you will see what that means for my poor GPU here. So we start at 10%, you can see the value here, this is the test initialization on my power curve. And then you will see the load ramping up. So here it's at 80 watts. It's going up to 100. We are 20%. And it's going every five seconds to increase, all while doing error checking. This is very important. It's checking for errors. And you can see the frequency here going up steadily. And here at 40%, I'm reaching my peak, actually a bit earlier than that. This is game-like clocks. This is the top of my GPU curve. And here my GPU says, oh, the load is too heavy. I need to throttle down, which is what it's doing right now. You will see the frequency going down and the power going up. And we're reaching fur mark levels here. I'm still a tad lower because I decided to use Unreal Engine and that has a tad of overhead, but the difference is 4 watts on my uh, RTX 380, which is like 1% at most, so it doesn't really matter, especially since I'm doing error checking, which Firmark does not. So uh, once it's reached the maximum intensity, it will go back to the beginning and start raising and going up again. So with this, you can test your whole GPU curve with a single click. You will probably set here the stepping to be longer, like increase every uh, two minutes or so, but um, for a more realistic test, but still you can ditch Unigine and stuff when you want to test game like clock or you're overclocking for games like, yeah, this does it all. And that's not all. There is another mode which is called switch. And this one is very extreme. What it's doing is it's switching from 10% intensity and 80% every 500 milliseconds. So it's generating a lot of transient. It's going to jump back and forth every 500 milliseconds. And you will see what that means for my poor GPU. I mean, look at that. Look at this GPU core load here. Look at how it's spiking like crazy. It's not really, uh, you cannot really see it in the monitoring values just because um, monitoring can't keep up. And you can go lower than that if you want to, but I can hear my card, the coil whine. It's going two tones. You probably don't hear it, but it's going two tones. Mm, 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 mm. It's amazing. Um, frequency is going to be pretty flat here. Power is going to, uh, to jump around and look at that load. So this is amazing if you want to, if you want to test for errors due to transient, due to uh, the load switching on and off very quickly. Uh, you will see if your card can handle it. Mine can, but yours 
you definitely need to check that out. This is an important component in, uh, in overclocking and I definitely advise you to run it at least, at least once. So yeah, this is revolutionary. This is the first time we have a test, a GPU test that can check for errors and do a wall curve at once and switch between two states very fast. I mean, the minimum is 200 milliseconds. It's really, really, really fast and create nightmare scenario for you through your GPU. This is amazing. It's six month work. I'm really excited and this should be live pretty soon. All right, guys, this is it for the new test, the new 3D test. Again, it's pretty revolutionary. It was very short, but I've covered it all because it's pretty simple. It's, uh, it's amazing and it's the only test out there that does all that. Being able to vary its load, being able to detect errors and report them, be that accurate, switch between two states. This is just plain amazing. I'm really happy with how it turned out and I can't wait to release that stable, which should occur by the end of this month. Um, this isn't the, the only feature of uh, V11 beta. There is also the stability certificate, which will uh, be displayed in a later video. I will record soon. Uh, I just wanted to show that to you as soon as possible. Um, go ahead and grab the latest beta on my website Side, give it a shot. Um, I'm pretty sure you will be really happy with the results. Um, see you later for the stability certificate demonstration and have fun.